Psalm 34, verse 21. The Bible says, Evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. Close your eyes. Take this prayer point. Say, Any strange power in my life, I bind and cast you out in the name of Jesus. Any strange power in my life, I bind and cast you out in the name of Jesus. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Welcome to Evangelist Joshua TV. Today's topic is 10 dreams that shows someone is evil. 10 dreams that shows someone is evil. Ah, Evangelist, I'm seeing my mommy pursuing me. I'm seeing my mother pursuing me. I'm seeing someone. Oh, how could my best friend be doing harm to me? Oh, Evangelist, look at this person. He's carrying a knife. Want to kill me? How, what are the signs? To know that the person is evil. The person might appear to you like a good person, but inwardly there are so many activities that is going on in the life or in the mind of that person. They will call betrayals, you know, envy, jealousy, and all this it hatred. Do you understand? So we are going to tell you the, the possible term dream because there are many of them on my head, but I'm going to tell you the 10 dreams that show that someone is evil. It could be your friend, it could be your father, it could be your mother, your sister, even your neighbor. That someone is evil. So I want you to sit back. So if you're not yet subscribed, subscribe now. Subscribe now because this sermon, this message is going to open your eyes. Praise the living Jesus. There's a high rate of wickedness in the world today. Many people do evil in order to either kill and destroy or to stop a man from progressing. The Bible says, a man's enemies are within his household. Somebody will consult an extraordinary power just to get fame, wealth and money. A lot of people, a lot of people are blinded spiritually, which are hinder them to see the evil in a person. Somebody will take you to hospital. Somebody will sympathize with you. Somebody will take you to church for healing. But unfortunately to you, the person has been the one responsible for your problems. It conceals a garment that covers its identity from you. There's no way you can see the evil in a person when there's a mask, a spiritual mask, covering your face or covering your eyes. You can't see. You can't see. You are eating and dying with your enemy. You can't see. Ah, my friend, how are you? Do you have someone who has been troubling your life in the dream world, even in the physical world? Or you discovered the person is after your life? Or the person has vowed to deal with you? By the grace of God, the Lord will show us the 10 possible dreams or signs that show that someone is perpetrating evil, evil plan against you. Someone is perpetrating evil, evil against you. Ah, how do I know? How do I know about this thing? Oh God, somebody is doing evil. Look at this person. Anytime I'm close to this person, I'm always afraid. I don't know. How do I even know God? Open my spiritual discernment, oh Lord. Open my spiritual discernment. If I have been eating and dining with my enemies, Father, reveal it. If I have married the wrong person, open my eyes. If I'm about to marry the wrong person, open my eyes. If I'm about to marry the good person, open my eyes. Father, am I? Am I doing the right thing or not? Spiritual discernment is one of the major points of this discussion today. Number one sign that shows that, that someone is evil. Your father, your mother, as I said, your sister, your brothers, your neighbors. Just so. Anytime I see you someone, this could be any of them. Anyone I see you someone, someone, this could be any of these people. Praise the living Jesus. Number one sign that shows that someone is evil or is perpetrating evil against you. When someone is trying to kill you, when you see someone is trying to kill you in the dream, your friend, ah! Evangelist, this person can never hurt a fly. Frequently, you normally see this person trying to kill you. It is the spirit, the evil spirit in the life of that person that is against you. Not even the person on the surface. It is the evil spirit in the life of that person that is always manifesting to do you harm. 
If you see the person, ah, look at this person. Ah, this person does not. It is that evil spirit. When you see someone, that's why you see someone. Ah, the boy, ah, I see. Oh, my mother want to kill me. My mother want to kill me. It will not be that your mother is evil, but there's a spirit that is tormenting her. That's why you said that. That spirit is what is. Is that spirit that is bringing that strange voice? Go and kill you. Go and kill her. Go and stop her. It is that voice. Somebody will just sit down. You'll be hearing voice. Stop that person. It is that voice. The evil in the life of that person. When you see someone trying to kill you, and you know that person, in fact, for the period of 21 days, stay away from that person for now. Stay away from that person because something like set up my comb. So it might not be that that person might kill you in the real life. It can mean that it could, the person can stand as an obstacle to you. So when somebody is trying to kill you, it could be that that person is making plan to destroy you, making plan to poison you. It's true. I've seen many things like that. You see that somebody is making plans, you know, to tempt you in some ways. So. We have to be very, very vigilant, and this is the reason why we need to go soak ourselves into prayers. We are, for example, now you are seeing, you are seeing your brother, just like King killed Abel. You are seeing your brother trying to kill you. Ah. You don't need to fold your hand and say just a figment of my imagination. You need to pray. Devil can use anybody. In the realm of the spirit, anybody is a, is a suspect. So you need to pray very well. I'm not saying to pray against your brother. Pray against that evil spirit that may want to reign against your success, against your progress. Number two signs that show that someone is perpetrating evil against you. When someone is chasing you, your, your friend, your, your father, your mother, your, your sister, your, your neighbor, don't, ah, why is this person chasing me like this? The spiritual meaning is that that person is trying to trouble your life. If this dream is frequent, 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 then it tells you that this person is disturbing your life. This person is planning to stop you because if you see somebody pushing another person, the purpose is to catch that person and do what? And deal with that person. If possible, kill that person. So if you see someone that you know pushing you, you need to keep, keep a distance between you and that person. That person might have evil plan, might unquote, might have evil plan against you. And that person might not have evil plan against you. But at that period, at that period of time, it's just for you to be very observant of that person's activities in your life. If that person is close to you. So you have to be very, very careful. Praise the living Jesus. And pray more. Let God reveal the spirit behind that person. This could be a good spirit, it could be a bad spirit. Let God reveal that person to you in your revelation or in your dream. Anybody that is trying to chase you or pursue you in that dream, on the surface, spiritually, that person does not have good plans against you. So you need to pray very, very well. Number three signs that show that someone is planning evil against you. When someone is always fighting you, ah, look at this person, always fighting you, fighting you, fighting you, fighting you, fighting you, fighting you in the dream, that person, is planning evil against you. It's always wrestling with your life, wrestling with your destiny, wrestling with your glory, wrestling with your 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 glory, your star. So that person is an evil. It's an evil. So when you see that person, you need to find ways to protect yourself, and also you need to soak yourself in the blood of Jesus and ask God to fight your battles because spiritually it indicates spiritual warfare and once it's spiritual warfare you don't need to fold your hands and start looking you need to rise up and pray so when you see somebody like that they are the Goliath they are the power they are the enemies that is tormenting that person to wage war against you that's why you see some people ah this person is a very nice person why is he doing evil against another person it is that evil that eats you, that eats your blessings, that eats your progress, that eats whatever good things you are doing, the good plans. They want to make sure they fight you, they trouble you, so that you can give up on that plans. So, any battle you are facing right now, 
I pray you shall I pray you shall overcome in Jesus' name. Now my first sign I show that someone is evil is when you see someone in an occultic group. When you see someone in an occultic group, it shows that someone is evil. You saw, you saw your father, you saw your mother, you saw somebody that is you know is an occultic group. Maybe your part, maybe a pastor in an occultic group. It shows that that person is an evil person. It's evil. It's evil. It's evil. I say it again. That person is evil. When you see somebody in an occultic group, that person is evil. Try as much as possible to stay away from that person. You don't need anybody to tell you this. Stay away from that person. You see somebody is an occultic group. So you need to stay away from that person. You show that that person has a not clean. So ask God, and if there's any relationship between you and that person, let there be a distance from now. Praise the living Jesus. Number five sign that shows that show someone is evil is when someone is using charms on you. Someone that you know is using charms on you. Well, it could not be that that person is might is using charms on you physically. It could be it, that charm could be as a result of cause. That charm as a result of hate. That charm as it can be as a result of strife. That charm can be as a result of trouble. The person has, has determined to, to the, the, it indicate trouble that the person is imposing upon you. So when you see someone that is trying to use charms on you, what else do you expect is for you to stay away from that person. It shows that that person is evil. That person is evil. When you see someone is carrying charms on you, ah, you need to stay away. Pray that God, any of your friends, and anyone within your family members or where you are staying, that God should reveal the their evil plans against you. But once God revealed it, immediately begin to cancel it. Begin to block it. Cancel it. Block it. Cancel it. Block it. And sometimes when you are seeing somebody that you know that is trying to do you harm or you know trying to hurt you, then also it could be that that person is having that kind of plans or another person. Is trying to do you harm. Somebody you may know or you may not know. But the idea behind these signs is for you to pray. It's for you to protect yourself. And it's for you to, you know, for you to sharpen your spiritual discernment. So that you can able to you can able to detect any wrong signal that is coming to you. Praise the living Jesus. Number six sign is when someone is walking at the cemetery, you just see somebody walking at the cemetery, somebody you know, ah. Uh -uh. Walking at the cemetery, you just who is this person at the cemetery? What is he doing there? Somebody that you know, you saw that person walking on the cemetery, walking, moving around the cemetery. That person is trying to do evil. In fact, that person is an evil authority. So, what do you do? You, should, you separate yourself from that person. That person is evil. Is doing some kind of voodoo powers, trying to, you know, trying to get some certain things, you know, whether to get wealth, to get fame, to get power, or to hurt somebody, or to destroy destiny. So, maybe if you are the person, also, you only see yourself going to the cemetery, or maybe in a real life, you always go to the cemetery. You are watching me now. Maybe there's a man watching me right now. You always go to the cemetery. Maybe there's a ritual that every six months you go to the cemetery. If you're that kind of person, you need to pray. Go to my website at evangelijoshua.com, prayer against untimely death. It will revive your destiny. And that connection between you and your court world shall be broken in Jesus' name. So if you see somebody walking or going around the cemetery, that person is an evil person. Stay away from that person, wherever that person may be. Whether you know the person or you don't know the person, the idea behind this video is for you to be prayerful and don't establish any relationship with people that you are afraid of mentally with. Praise the living Jesus. Number seven signs is when someone forcefully collects something from you in the dream. Somebody forcefully collects something from you. They collect something from you, they collect key from you forcefully. Then you should that person is evil. And whether it's an, the face of an old woman, your grandmother, your grandfather, or late person, just saw somebody in the dream. Forcefully take something from you. 
that person is evil. Pray. Whatever the enemy has stolen from you, should return back to you in the name of Jesus Christ. So, when you see something like that, it means virtues have been taken away from you. You have to pray full restoration prayers that God should restore you back again. Whatever the evil people, the familiar spirit has taken from your life, that is causing pains, causing tears in your life, that God should refill it back in Jesus' name. Number eight signs that show that that person is evil is when you are not always comfortable, why with that person? You are not always comfortable, why with that person? You are always with a particular person, maybe a friend, but you feel that you are not comfortable. Anytime you are with that person, you'll be afraid, as if that person is evil. Let me just use that word, when you are always afraid, yes, that's the right word. When you are always afraid, why with that person? You are eating and dining with somebody, but you are afraid. It's not that that person has, is pointing a gun at you. You are afraid. That person is evil. You saw somebody, you are, you are doing some certain things with that person. Maybe you are doing business, but you are always afraid. Your heart is pumping. <laughs> As if you are at a critical stage in life. Then it shows that that person is evil. The person might not have any evil plans against you, but the totality of that person shows that he has doubled into one fetish things or the other. Because the Bible says he has not given you what? The spirit of fear. Once you do that, you know that you are already around, around the, the, the territory of the wicked. So when you are afraid, when you are always with this person, that person is evil. Stay away from it so that you can have your everlasting peace in Jesus' name. Number nine thing that someone is evil is when you see someone changing to animals in a dream. Someone is changing to animals. Changing to animals. You know, someone is transforming into animals. That person is an evil person. That person is evil entity. So somebody changing to animals. Whether it's your friend, whether it's your close you know, it's an evil person. If it's your close person, maybe your your your, your husband, your wife, and so that is changing to animals. Take him or her to deliverance. That shows that he's already possessed by witchcraft. So when you see another person turning to animals, it means that that person is evil. You find yourself to stay, stay pray for yourself from that person. But if you somebody that you know, tell that person, take that person to deliverance, so that God can deliver him from that evil domain. So that God can deliver him from that demonic, from that demonic possession in Jesus' name. Number 10 sign that shows that someone is evil is when someone is trying to feed you in a dream. Someone that you know is feeding you in a dream, a dead, a dead relative, somebody that you know is feeding you in a dream, frequently, frequently bombarding your tummy with evil food. Know that somebody has an evil plan against you. Yes, you may not know, but all this dream is just for you to take caution. Why with that person? Whether it's your father, whether it's, just take caution. Pray that the Lord will give us wisdom in Jesus. How to deal with evil authority or how to deal with evil person? Number one, surrender your life to Christ. Two, confess your sins, renounce and stay away from it. Three, ask God for spiritual discernment. Four, learn to resist the devil always. Five, use prayers to destroy their evil weapons. Instructions embark on three days fasting and prayers from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. Close your eyes, stay this prayer point. Say, Father! Show me the people that are attacking me secretly in the name of Jesus. Say, Father, show me the people that are attacking my life secretly. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Say, Oh God, arise and show me the spirit behind this person. In the name of Jesus. Oh God, arise and show me the spirit, the wicked spirit behind this person in Jesus' name. Say, by fire. I disconnect myself from evil friends in the name of Jesus. By fire, I disconnect myself from evil friends in Jesus' name. Say this last prayer upon loud and clear. Say, fire of God, hide me from those trying to manipulate me in the name of Jesus. Fire of God, hide me from those trying to manipulate me in Jesus' name. I pray for you today. Anyone that, that has evil intention to kill you, to destroy you, to steal from you, I pray the Lord will frustrate them. The Lord will scatter their plans, they will scatter their skins. In Jesus' name we pray.
Amen. And the Lord Almighty will sharpen your spiritual discernment so that you can see the activities of the wicked against your life in Jesus' name. If this broadcast has blessed you, share it to your friends and family. Once again, this is Evangelist from Lagos. Mm -hmm.